This is one of our old vent-free propane heaters that we've updated to for these new Renai direct vent heaters. They pull in fresh air from outside to use for combustion and all the uh, gases and moisture goes to the outside. Just heat coming into the house, which is great. The first year we lived in our off-grid house, we noticed an excessive amount of moisture around the window. That's because of the vent-free heaters. There is a carbon monoxide threat as well that I didn't like, especially with two young kids. This is the EX08C model on low it uses about 3,000 BTUs on high, about 8,000. And uh, we have two of them. They work great. Renat did a test uh, with a regular central heating and air system versus the Renat heaters. And they do a more uniform job all around the house, keeping it, keeping it at a level temperature. And I can tell you from experience, these things are as accurate. We have about 1,200 square feet of use, usable space or 1,100 somewhere in there. Right now, we're going to have about 1,700 when we're finished with the upstairs bedroom. Uh, the other one, uh, we've got two upstairs and one bath. As long as you keep your doors open and let the air get back to the Renai heaters, thermostat will pick up that cold air but I'll say this these the heat comes out at the bottom near the floor so it is fantastic compared to the old vent free heaters where all the heat would be at the ceiling and of course it was real stuffy I recommend that this these things are great they're expensive but uh, it's worth it it's worth every penny um, in a 24-hour period this is moisture comes out of the, the flue and just leaves just heat coming into the house it does have a humidifier tray if you have real dry air. We're, we're in the southeastern part of the United States, so we mostly have you know enough humidity in the air around here. It has a filter that filters the incoming air that you can uh, keep clean, and it, it will let you know. It will beep and let you know when it's time to change that with a little light that clicks on. Um, the flue manifold, it's a, they call it periscoping. It screws in and out, I don't know, four inches or so to about nine and a half. Our wall was nine and a quarter inches thick, so that was perfect for us. And I like the outside exhaust. Um, it just, it's small and it doesn't look, it's not an eyesore in my opinion. You do get a template when you, uh, in the cardboard box that you need to save when you install it. You'll drill two holes, the three and a quarter inch hole, and then there'll be two more at top for the wall bracket. So three holes actually, two small, like three sixteenths or so at top, I can't remember. And then um, the three and a quarter or three and an eighth inch for the main flue manifold. We converted these from natural gas to propane, which was a kit that came with it. Has a half inch male fitting for the gas line to, and it's just, it uses about 40 watts. That's it. Plugs in with a little 120 regular standard three prong plug. They have uh, two timers. You can set them for two different ways to cut on and off during the day if you need to. You have a child lock button. You have a setback button where you can cut it off. And if it gets below a certain temperature, it'll cut itself on and keep the house above that temperature, whatever it is. And that's, uh, that's how we heat our home. This thing is, uh, like I say, is much better than the um, bent free. It's safer and uh, it keeps the house at a good level temperature. But this is how we, we do it here at our off-grid house. We'll see you next time.